I want to learn about home recording. Is there a lot of things to learn? That's a really good question. And uh, yes, there is a fair amount of things to learn even before you get started. So if you want to take my advice, I would definitely suggest you find someone to help you with that. Just get someone who is always already doing this or he has a studio or a project studio and have him give you at least a couple of uh, lessons privately, either online or in, in a person. And this will help you a lot in you know, cutting back how much time you're going to spend trying to get your feet wet on that uh, aspect. Because the problem here is not just equipment, it's how do you make it work together, it has to do with software. Let, let's take it uh, one step at a time and check it out. So what are the things you need to learn? Well, you need to learn the basics of recording, how to set up the studio. Then a very important thing, how to connect your guitar, how connect to, if you're gonna connect the sound card or whatever audio interface you have to your speakers. So these are basic things that several times in the past have taken people months to figure out because they get frustrated and they try for a couple of hours and then they say, ah, forget it and then try again after a month or so. If you have someone to help you there, it's gonna cut back a lot on this kind of thing. Then you have the software. You need to learn, decide on a software, and that will depend on several reasons, like the kind of music you want to play. There are specific kinds of software, of uh, recording software that's best for different kinds of music. For example, if you want to basically record audio more, there is specific software that does this better. If you are more of a MIDI player and you're going to be using MIDI the most, then there's something else. If you're going to be using loops, there's another one. So I'm not going to give any specific suggestions because this is really, really personal and also depend on your hardware and on your budget. But you, these are things that you need to keep into account, so you need to know them. If you're enjoying this show and you want to be notified whenever a new video comes out, make sure you press subscribe right here, okay? And also press the notification bell so that you can get a notification every time we release a new video. And now let's go back to our regular episode. However, if you go and get help from someone, that person is gonna ask you, okay, what music do you want to play? And what music do you want to record? And how much money are you willing to invest in the hardware? And how much money are you willing to invest in the software? And once you provide him with these answers, he's gonna tell you exactly what is the best solution for you at that specific moment. So I think this is uh, very important. So not to make this video very long, uh, there is a fair amount of things to learn before you can even get started, okay? There's not too much, a few things, and the, the, your best bet is to get someone to help you with that. There are a lot of very good tutorials on the internet and this can help you very much learn a specific software, learn how to use it, learn how to edit, how to cut, how to paste tracks, how to insert a MIDI track and things like that. But having someone to basically answer your questions and uh, this is something that no course can do, no, no matter how well done it is um, produced, no course, no ready-made course can do that. I would suggest that this would be the ideal way. Find someone to give you a couple of lessons and then you will be up and running in no time. So there you have it. I hope this was helpful and I will see you on the next episode of Ask the Guitar Coach. Until then, don't forget, like, subscribe and make sure you send me any questions you want answered. Bye-bye.